how the drama would unfold the next time the two drivers renewed their battle in the sprint race. Lights are red, ready for a start. Green and we're away. Plato on the left, Muller in the centre. Oh, start out as you mean to continue. Jason Plato gives Muller a tap and Muller is through. Coming into Redgate for the first time, a bit of a touch from behind as well. Phil Bennett, great start from him. And James Thompson, who was doing well, he's been turned around. I think that was contact with Sopa. He's still running. So now, side by side, down the crane for the first time, and Bennett leads. Side by side with Muller, as we see the production boys just taking off as well. Muller fights back. Bennett having another look down the inside, and he's through. Plato says, I'll go with you. Side by side, Muller, Plato, Bennett just ahead of them. Up towards Redgate for the first time. Watch for those two red voxels, side by side. Muller on the right, Plato on the left. Bits of wing mirror flying around there. Plato lunges up the inside into McLean's. There's the view from Ivan Muller's car. Plato all over us. What can we do? Turn into coppice. Two wheels in the air, close as you like. Well, certainly exciting stuff on the opening lap. Plato got it wrong at the start, recovered now back up into second place. And there is real attitude out there in the racetrack between Muller and Plato. Well, here's Muller having another fight back down into the chicane. Plato just cuts across. Muller tries to switch back. Clubs the floppies. The mark is on the apex to the corner. Those Persians as well having a ding-dong battle. Soper and Eves. Look at them. A horde of them heading down into the Melbourne loop. That's the view from Muller's car ahead of us. Oops, terribly sorry. Muller just taps the back of Plato's car. Plato runs deep. Muller moves up the inside. Has he taken the spot? Yes, he has. The headbutt paid off. Up into Goddard's corner. Bennett leads to the right-hand side of your screen. Two red voxels. And look at that. Plato shoveling Muller from behind. Muller gets pushed deep. Side by side again. Now they're on the grass. Muller's on the grass. Plato's alongside him. Banging panels, touching panels. Oh, big hip and shoulder there from Jason Plato. And has Muller got it? Has Plato got it? No, Eves has got it. Eves has lunged through. The two of them have held each other up. And Dan Eves, great bit of opportunism. Certainly was. Eves saw what was going on with the two voxels. But I guarantee you one thing, Plato will not be looking for celebrity to say, I was in it. And that time, Jason, well, again, guilty. That's my verdict. And he's off. What he look? Eves has just been tagged by Plato down into the old hairpin. Really fast part of the circuit. He's fine, just backed off into the gravel trap. Now, here's the view from Plato's car. Dan Eves leads as they come through Crane the Curves on the brakes. And then Plato uses the Peugeot to slow his Vauxhall down. Eves goes off big time and out of the race. Very busy now. Here's the Eves view of how he nicked that place. A little bit of touch on both of those Vauxhalls. A bit like playing a game of billiards off one, off the other, into the lead of that group of cars. But watch what happens as they come through the Craner curves, through the right, down through the left. Eves coming and then all of a sudden, bang in the back. And it's signs everywhere, and Eves is out of the race. Well, he might have got the two points for the cannon, mate, but he's certainly got the three for in off. Eves parked at the bottom of the old hairpin. His race over, but his teammate is 